how lovely is this? I love the sound of water. This may or may not make its way into one of my videos. We've just been out looking for gardening spill and I bought quite a few little bits. And then I thought we'd stop and driving. Brought Howard out because he's not feeling too well. And I thought I'd uh, stop at the little park. So pretty. You often ask for places of interest. There's a beautiful church. I've not spotted this one before. Looks really nice. So, better show my face rather than just my voice. We are going to stop in this little park and uh, sit and ponder for a bit. So, I just thought I'd show some of the trees. It's so pretty. There's our little stream as I'm walking. Water always makes me want to just jump in. I'd love to dip my toes in there now. It's a really warm day and we've come up in jumpers and boots and jeans. It's a gorgeous day. The rain's all gone. We'll sit by here. Oh, it's broken. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. The rain's gone. The winds have cleared up. I think spring is finally on its way, guys. How sad, guys. There's a tent in there. Somebody homeless. But they found a nice bit of shaded area away from trouble, keeping themselves to themselves. I was talking away then, guys, and uh, I hadn't even pressed record. My fringe is all over the place. Look, blooming jumper, jeans, honestly. And he's not much better. He's been feeling really depressed, guys. He thinks his MS is worsening. He's depressed about the car. We still haven't heard from the insurance. The hire car have gone back, so now he's carless. Yeah, we do have mine, but I don't like him driving that. <laughs> Not saying a word. Oh, I've pulled him. Oh, look, he looks like I got three chins because of the shadow from the sun. I've pulled him apart, telling him he can't use it because he's irresponsible. <laughs> he's not riding, riding it, he's not driving it because the last time he got in a car, he set fire to it. <laughs> I've only had four write-offs. Four write-offs in his lifetime, guys. That's yeah. not something to brag about, no, is but, it? Um, where was I? It was actually parked on the Yeah, tree. you were you were standstill at a fire. standstill. But it's not something to brag no. about, especially not to the insurance company. He's on the phone to him and he said, this is my fourth right off. I was cringing. I was like, you can't say and the, that. And the hire car. Yeah, well, that's another story. That was the neighbours driving into it. But anyway, um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. As I said, I've got some garden stuff. Went to Poundland of all places. I've bought some lovely stuff. And um, yeah, I want to get cracking. I want to, I've got the vision. I've got the thoughts and the ideas. Whether I can do them is another matter because of our chronic illness. I've got osteoarthritis, which means I can't bend or anything. Bones are my joints hurt. I've also got oste uh, osteo, I've just said that. I've also got um, fibro, which causes pain. So him and his MS. <laughs> it's like the blind leads in the blinds, isn't it? <laughs> and that, oh, hello, little doggies. Beautiful little dogs going past us. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Who's going to do what? But we're going to attempt it. Attempt it and between see what us, happens yeah. between us, yeah. This park is so beautiful. We've never been here. It's full of people walking dogs. The trees are starting to bloom. It looks like blossom in the trees. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm never happier than when I'm surrounded by nature. Whether it be the sea, whether it be woodland areas, whether it be parkland, I just love, love, love being in nature. It grounds me, it makes me happy, so peaceful. I mean, we're close to houses, as you can see, but it's like a little slice of paradise. And this is, um, it's in a, an area called Pennyland, isn't it, Hal? Yeah. Pennyland. Penny. <laughs> Pennyland. 
Yeah, it's, it's, it's just off Roth. We're not too far from the park. I often show you Roth Park. This is a different one. This is called Waterloo Gardens. Hi guys. So it's the next day and the weather's changed. All that gorgeous weather. One day it lasted, one blooming day. What do I expect? I live in Wales. <laughs> so I just thought I'd um, show you I'm going to add it on, obviously, show you what I bought in Poundland for this, um, the front, out the front. I did intend to start painting, but the weather's just changed. It's it's not cold, but it's windy, um, it's damp. It's just not gardening weather. I say gardening, this isn't really gardening, it's just a bit of a revamp. So I went to, um, that's my cat peaches by there looking up the window, bless her. <laughs> I went to um, Poundland and I picked up a few bits and bobs that I thought would uh, actually be nice up the front. So I picked up two of these grey planters. I'm glad they're grey because uh, I want it all to tie in. So two of them. I'm sure they were £2 each. Don't quote me on that, but I'm 99% certain they were £2 each. Then I spotted this bit of trellis. Now it was the last one in the shop. There's a little bit broken there and um, I don't know how much it was initially. It doesn't matter that that bit's broken. It's going to be good for what I want it for. And um, there it is. It extends to, uh, well, about five foot, I think, depending on how open i'm gonna have it so it's um it's just got ivy intertwined so that i'm going to put on the wall and i'm gonna make it look like i mean i might intertwine some other ivy um, and make it look like it's real <laughs> i've got the idea but i can't really explain it until i'm out there and i show you but yeah i'm gonna either nail it to the wall or use a bit of no nails um yeah that's one of my little uh, ideas. I also picked up these. Now, I found these before finding that trellis. These were £2 each, but I may take them back because I'm not sure if I'm going to be using them. They're these little tiles and they've got sort of ivy, I believe, or no, it's not ivy. They've got greenery attached. They're just plastic tiles, look. Um, very simple. I'm sure I could have made them myself, but I picked up four and I was thinking, and they've all stuck together, I was thinking about sort of having them up on the other wall next to the trellis one, well opposite. So I've got four and I thought that would look quite nice if I uh, attach them to the wall and it's going to look like I've got trailing plants coming up out of those grey um, planters. Then, all falling apart, I know I should be planting real plants. Can you pass me that bag of ivy over there, please? I know I should be planting real plants and doing it properly, but do you want to get past? Um, two seconds, guys. All right, sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I should plant real ones and have real climbing plants and things, but a, I'm not green fingered. I kill everything. It doesn't last two minutes. And B, I just want it to look nice instantly rather than wait for them to grow. So, yeah, I've gone for the fake and I'm hoping it, from a distance at least it doesn't look too fake. Um, there's the ivy that I was saying that I'm going to thread and make it look fuller, thicker. I've got two packs of these. These were a pound each. And it's just ivy on um, on plastic, really. It's just a long strand of it, so you can intertwine it. I used the same as this day last year on my back fence. And it is really effective. I think so, anyway. And real ivy is so destructive. I mean, it leaks away and ruin everything. It, it just it sticks and oh, just dropped it all. So, yeah. Fake, fake it all the way. <laughs> now on YouTube, I think it was during lockdown. 
I'm sure I saw somebody making topiary trees out of a broom handle. Now, I couldn't get a wooden one, but I got two green ones. And I also got some terracotta spray paint for plastic. But I saw somebody making these trees. They had a pot like what I just showed you. They filled it with, I don't know, gravel, soil, sand, I'm not sure. Then they put some chicken wire over it, stuck one of these in and stuck a topiary ball on top. I think they might have used two and they staggered them. And they look really effective. It really looked nice. So I'm going to give it a go. I don't know who it was. I really don't. Um, I've seen it a few times, but I don't know. I'm sure it was during lockdown and I thought at the time that looked really effective. So anyway, I've decided I'm going to do the same thing. Now, I've got the terracotta spray paint, as I said, but here's the topiary balls. So these were about a pound each, these uh, broom handles. And these topiary balls, I think they were seven in Poundland. Were they seven now? Yeah. Now... On one of these, there is a little gap. Let me see. It might be the other one. One of them already has a little gap in. Yeah, it's this one. See? So, it's not going to take too much for me to open up that little gap and show you what I mean. Mm. Well. So, I'm going to shove... <laughs> I'm so technical. I'm going to shove my broom handle into the little gap. And because it's got a plastic cap on it, sorry guys, it just pokes up the top, but it won't be seen. So there it is. And see there? And I don't think if I take the sticker off, I don't think it looks too bad being on a green pole. What do you think, Cal? Oh, nice. So I don't think I need the terracotta. No. So that... I've got some gravel that I bought, not gravel, um, like little stones, and I thought I would put a brick in each of these to weigh it down, fill it with the little stones, and then sort of put it in the pot, and I don't know why I'm trying to show you like that, that just looks silly, <laughs> and there's my topiary tree. Now I've got two, and I bought two balls. Now, I don't know whether to stagger them, so I've got two balls on a pole, or whether to just have one and have them each side of the front door. But I'm thinking that it's going to look quite nice. Go on now, tell me it's going to look crap. <laughs> but I think it's going to look quite nice. As I said, I wish I could remember who it was so that I could uh, like tag them in this and you could come see theirs. I'm sure that they did a better job than I'm going to do. <laughs> But I'll give it a go. And then to stop it blowing off then, well, it shouldn't actually. It is it is on there quite firmly because I've got the, the top of it poking out. So, yeah, that's not going anywhere, guys. So, yeah, that's my idea. What do you think, Oh, Do you get what I mean now? Yeah, I got it. He was looking at me going off in the shop. I said, I've got this vision of sticking one of these on one of these and sticking it in a pot. And he's like, eh? I said, you don't get me, to you? And he's like, no, not at all. So now that you can see it, what do you think? Nice. Do you think it looks nice? Yeah, nice? One each side of the front door? Yeah, nice. Yeah. It's my idea anyway. Then, I also picked up, as I said, one more of these balls. Then I picked up some paintbrushes. Howard has already pack packed me up a pick. <laughs> Howard has already picked me up a pack. Oh, the cat's gone and Luna's going in her place. <laughs> um, so we've got plenty of paintbrushes. We've got the grey paint. All I need to find now is a wire brush just for brushing down the um, the, the windowsill there. And the weather. Yeah, and the porch roof, just to get rid of all the flaky stuff that's already on there. And um, I can start revamping out the front. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. I really think it's going to look effective. And I'm just going to change things up a bit. Currently, I've got a um, like a gecko on the wall out the front. And it's like all little bees, little stones, um, like glass stones all in it. Uh, it's a beautiful gecko and it is a fair size. I can't see my bottom hand. It is a fair size. 
but I'm thinking I'm going to replace that. I don't know. Do you reckon the gecko could stay there or shall I replace it? See that. I don't know yet. So, yeah, that is my plan. I've seen some more stuff that I want to get for out there and I really want to make it look pretty. As for the back garden, we haven't started that yet. It's as bad as it was last year when I said the same thing. It was trashed in the storm. So all my lights are down. All my pots have been strewn around the garden and they just don't look salvageable. So I'm going to see what I can do out there. Um, just needs a blooming good tidy up. I think we're going to get rid of the hot tub because that's developed a puncture over the winter. So I'm not sure if that's even salvageable. If not, we're going to use that area. Um, I call it a gazebo, but it's not got a top on it. It's like a pergola, I think. Yeah, more of a pergola. All the lights were trashed because the birds pecked through the wires so they no longer work. So I'm going to peel off all the, the lights, um, revamp it a little bit and use that area as a seating area. I'm not quite sure yet. We're going to see how it goes. I mean, if we can salvage the hot tub, happy days. But if not, it'll be made into some sort of seating area, which will free up the patio area. Um, and I can have my sun lounges on that when I use the paddling pool, the little pool, in the summer when it's hot and dip my feet in because I love doing that. <laughs> then we've got the swing, the other side, the garden swing, um, one side. And I want to replace the egg chair that got broken and I want to put that the other side. So lots and lots of plans for the garden. We just need the weather to do it. Right, I need to take a breath now. While we were out and about then, I popped in the charity shop and I found this for a pound. It's a little Bieber phone case. How lovely is that? I love the design on it. It's right up my street with all the, um, the leather going up the top. I love the tassel. And Bieber, back in the day, back in the 70s, I think it was really expensive. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it was really expensive. It's got like a leopard print. Don't even know if the camera's going to pick that up. A leopard print inside. So front and back is the same. The uh, iconic Bieber design. So yeah, for a pound, I'm really happy. Um, my iPhone, I've got the iPhone 13 mini. Um, it will fit in there with a little bit poking out the top. Or I could use it for cards. If I just want to take a little like a clutch bag or something out and I just want to put my card in, it'll be perfect for that. Driving license, you know, the stuff that you need when you're out and about. So yeah, happy to get that. So that's all that I've got to show you from um, my shopping trip. Uh, my garden shopping trip, I should say. Um, I can't think if there was anything else. Was there anything else I needed to say from the shopping trip? No, so. Howard's still not feeling the best, guys, are you? No, not really. I don't know what's going on with him. He needs a, my my toe up his backside, that's what he needs. <laughs> needs he's just what? Needs something. Yeah, he's just feeling really, really depressed and down. And, yeah, and this one, all you've done is bark. Yeah. I think it's something to do with the weather, guys. She has not stopped barking. If you're new, this is our baby. We do have two other dogs, but this one is my baby. We've got lots of animals in this house. We've got Luna, we've got Diesel, who's a Jack Russell. We've got a pig called Coco. It's a story behind that. <laughs> we adopted Coco and... Um, the woman who had him before us didn't want him anymore. She wanted a girl pig. Um, and when he got that little bit older, she was like, don't want him. Don't want a boy dog. So we took him and we love him. But he came with a bag full of tutus, little pink dresses, little girly clothes, little frilly things. She certainly wanted a girl dog, didn't she? So, um, yeah, he stuck with a bit of a girly name. But doesn't matter you can call you can use whatever name you want really but she wanted Coco Coco Chanel that's what he was <laughs> 
So yeah, we have three dogs. We've got a cat called Peaches, who you've just seen sat up by there. We've got a bunny called Thumper. Um, we've got a tortoise called Timmy and a gecko called Monica. And as you know, we sadly lost our African pygmy hedgehog at Christmas time, which was a real blow. He was cute. He was lovely. So yeah, we lost him. So no more pets. We've got enough. No more pets at all. It's a, it's a stunting story, isn't it? Your kids want pets as they're growing up and then they get to a certain age and they just lose all interest and it's down to mum and dad to look after them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good job, but animal lovers, well, I am. Howard could do without them, but I love them. So I think that's about it, guys, to be honest with you. Um, thank you for watching. Something a little bit different, showing you the, uh, the park we went to. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I want to get out and about a bit more, show you some more areas of Cardiff that are local to us that we don't frequent very often. So like I said, if you like my sort of content, it's a lifestyle channel, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down by there somewhere. Would mean the world to me, guys, it really would. I'm not far now from 1,600. That sounds huge to me. I didn't think I'd ever get that far. Um, I'm trying to get to 2,000, so another 400 to go, guys. So if you wouldn't mind subscribing, as I said, it would really help me out. It would mean the world to me, and I hope you'd stick around and watch my videos too, because that would mean the world as well. <laughs> anyway, for now, guys, stay safe, take care, look after each other, and be kind. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.